Hello my soccer universe, let's do another what to watch and I decided this time to make it a little bit um, shorter meaning less seasons because I think it becomes a little bit daunting. I wish I had the idea before. The part that we're talking, I'm wearing Real Madrid. Um, it clearly was kind of five years that were more or less where you could say despite everything Real Madrid was the team in those times. They won two out of the five trophies that we are talking about uh, now and were always going relatively far in all these competitions. So it seems only befitting to wear my 98-2000 uh, Real Madrid jersey. I got it for um, in 2000. Uh, if you want to hear the story, I think I'm talking about this jersey. I uh, tell you the story there because I saw some of the games that I live with my own eyes. That we'll be talking about but uh let's yeah and let's start right in the 99 2000 season um this was the first season where we had the bloated champions league format but i have to say i know it was a lot of games but in a way i liked it where we had first the first group stage with the top two advancing and then we had a second group stage which added a whole lot of games um, and then uh, the top two of the second group stage qualified for a quarterfinal and then went on to a final in the knockout round. Uh, these days we are basically slashing the second group stage and go directly into a round of 16, which uh, saves about four match days. Makes kind of, kind of sense, but it was a real um, bear, this whole entire group stage that we had. And it kind of, it still is a little bit today, but kind of, if you really managed the second group stage well, it didn't mean a squat for the rest of the competition. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. Um, and this was a season actually where it really didn't. It always meant advancing, advancing, advancing. To a degree, this is also true. If you look at around round 16, teams that are performing well, and don't perform all that well necessarily later on. But let's look at a few um, outstanding games in that season. I think the Group B of the first group stage is one that sticks out. There was Barcelona, Fiorentina and Arsenal. Uh, there was a 3-3 in Florence between Fiorentina and Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona beat uh, Fiorentina return like 4-2. And then there was, of course, the famous away win of Fiorentina at Ar Arsenal with the famous Batistuta goal still at Wembley. Uh, probably the last really great showing of a Fiorentina team in Europe. Well, they have been in the semifinals not too long ago. Uh, if I look at the other groups, I have to say, uh, I mean, the group E with the Real Madrid Porto looks quite close. I know that Valencia Bayern Munich, this was a uh, Bayern Munich just kind of stumbled a little bit through this group stage. Um, and then there was Group H, where I remember I was sitting in the youth hostel in Milan and I watched Chelsea Milan, a nil nil. Draw. This was a group that Milan completely botched at home, which this was kind of the typical performance in the early 2000s, the home uh, games, and it proved to be here here as well with um, getting only draws uh, at Hertha and then, yeah, uh, even losing at Hertha. So, yeah, I shouldn't say too many results here, to be honest. But, yeah, this was an exciting group, uh, Chelsea and Hertha moving on out of that one but let's look at the really big games uh this in the second group stage both bayern real madrid matchups in the second group uh and i saw the one in munich uh worth watching because one team is really showing up and another one not so much absolute great soccer there so that's one uh to watch and then in the knockout stage, uh, Real Madrid's performance at Manchester United is probably the standout uh, game out of the entire uh, knockout stage. There was also the two Chelsea-Barcelona games. I think are definitely worth watching. And then also the semifinals, semi um, Real Madrid Bayern Munich. I was at the return leg watch that one. I think there is a lot of um, intensity there. Uh, the second semifinal was a little bit too 
too clear of an affair, although the first leg um, kind of gave you something. Um, I also won uh, in the qualifiers Valencia Lazio, the um, uh, first game. Also, not too bad. I think there were quite some good qualifiers there, but I think if you ask me, my pick, pick is Real Madrid Manchester United, the second leg. Um, and the return leg, probably, of uh, Barcelona Chelsea. That was also a pretty good game. I I totally remember that that one. Even the first game was quite good there. So um, the final was more of a one-sided affair, but you could see Lusk fans on Twitter there. Uh, it was a T4, awful <laughs> small T4. 2000, 2001. I have to say, I don't remember that many great games from that tournament. To be honest, uh, if I go through the groups, I think in the group stage there was really, uh, I know the group D was doing grass. I mean, it is it, where I, I was watching. There was a lot of going back and forth, but yeah, not much. I think one standard tie is uh, Hamburg against Juventus. Um, definitely worth watching that 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 one. That was a crazy game. Um, I am looking more, yeah, than the group age I saw Barcelona play at home to Leeds United. That was a great game to watch, I have to say. Uh, it was no indication of how the rest of the group will go. I, The Milan-Barcelona game, although there are six goals scored, it was not a great game. Uh, but I think Barcelona-Milan was a good one. I think um, also the games between Leeds United and Milan and Barcelona uh, probably worth your time. This was a really, really interesting group, I have to say. Uh, that, yeah, as, as I said, uh, took a little bit of a surprising turn. But those would be the two uh, groups that I would recommend. I think the rest was rather... I'm just looking at it. Nothing really that sticks out. I, even, in the, even, even the knockout round... <laughs> yeah, you see, I'm, if I, I mean, some of these rings, some bells, but honestly, nothing really. I think probably the Arsenal Valencia was exciting, but uh, Galatasaray, Real Madrid, maybe in the quarterfinals. I mean, there was a United Bayern Munich again. Uh, that was probably. Uh, it was not a good game, but I think there was a lot of drama in there. The final might be uh, the one out of the knockout stage that's worth watching. I remember this one as kind of a weird um, com com competition. Also the Real Madrid by Munich semi-final, um, there was something there, but it was always clear in what way this would be going. So I, that is a weird season. I think it was more exciting in the group stage than it went later, in the first group, group stage than it went later on. Probably with Hamburg against Juventus, being the pick of the bunch, to be honest. Maybe the final, because it's uh, for obvious reasons. 2001-2002, uh, I saw the final, but not at the stadium, but I was in Madrid. Uh, for, for, for that one, let, let's look what interesting games are in there. Uh, skipping the qualification round. Um, Real Madrid-Roma, I think that was a good one. Uh, I'm looking again at the group, so that's the first group stage. There's nothing really that sticks out. This was a relatively tame group stage again. Uh, Manchester United Depor. That I think was a really good game, uh, as far as I remember. So have have a look at that one. In the second group stage, yeah, we had a really good second group, uh, the group B. Barcelona, Liverpool, Roma, Galatasaray was a really tight group. I think I saw Barcelona, Roma. That was a good one. Um, also, Roma, Barcelona was uh, kind, 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 kind of a good, good game. And Liverpool also had some really good showings in there. Worth your time. Um, the group D is, is interesting because uh, the two teams that you would say are the big ones. They didn't make it out of that. But then uh, let's look at the knockout stage. Um, 
again, we had a Bayern Munich Real Madrid quarterfinal, uh, they're meeting for the third time in a row. Um, we had an El Clasico semi-final, however, um, though this was very lopsided. I think the game of the tournament was really, in this case, the final. This was a great final uh, with a great goal uh, in there as well. So I, I would actually say from that season, despite everything, the Leverkusen Real Madrid final, that's the one worth watching. And then we go to my favorite of the bunch here, for obvious reasons. Uh, it's the 2002-2003 season, um, where I remember uh, from early on you always had the feeling that Milan could do, could do some, something after being kind of uh, tepid at the beginning, uh, to be honest. So yeah, that was a really interesting one. Um, Real Madrid Roma. I think was one of those performances that um, you got a mark. Whatever Newcastle did uh, in its last three games was definitely worth watching. I think that is one that maybe the Newcastle Juventus um, just for drama a little bit. Uh, then Bayern Milan and uh, also Milan Bayern. I think two 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 games that definitely worth your time. Um, I think especially the first one. Uh, almost went there and I still regret that, that, that we decided back then. Nah, let's not do that. Um, you know, our heart is too much with one team. Uh, the second stage, the group, group stage, there was also uh, yeah, Barcelona, Inter, but uh, not really uh, Valencia, Ajax. That was a very even group. Valencia, Ajax, Ars Arsenal, Roma. The Milan Real Madrid group looks a lot closer than it actually was. Um, Manchester United, Juve, yeah. But I have to say the game of that season, um, Manchester United, Real Madrid, return leg of the quarterfinals. Uh, that is worth your time. I also think that Juvent uh, Juventus, uh, Barcelona, uh, Juventus return leg of the same at the same stage, and then um, yeah. A little bit about the others. I think both games between Real Madrid and Juventus definitely they also were classics. Another great game uh, was I Milan Ajax return leg. So the quarterfinals here, and even what Inter and Valencia did were was were really great games. Um, to be honest, I even think the final was for 60 minutes a very lively game, and it has a bad re reputation. But I have to say, this was not as bad of a final as the reputation is. I saw way worse finals. For instance, last year's was definitely worse than that one. But the pick of the bunch here is Real Madrid, Manchester United. And then we're going to the last season in that slot. Yeah, what Corona makes us do. Uh, just again going through. This was now the first one where they scrapped. The second group stage, uh, mainly due to the poor showing of Europe at the World Cup. They said that the teams are way too tired. They couldn't change the format for the 2002-2003 season, but then they went for a knockout stage. Uh, straight now, a knockout stage after the last round. So it's basically a format that we are still having as of now. Uh, and hopefully will remain that way. When I look here at the first group stage, there is nothing that really, uh, I would say, piques my interest. I think we have to go to the knockout round. And, ah, there was one game, I'm forgetting. Uh, Monaco against uh, Deportivo La Coronia. That one is a Champions League record game. Watch that one. I think that's the game, or oh, that's the pick of the bunch in here. Um, the other one is whatever. Uh, both games, Real Madrid, Monaco in the quarterfinals. Definitely worth worth the time. Uh, Real Madrid come coming off another Real Madrid Bayern Munich uh, meetup. So in f I think four of the five seasons that we're talking about, those two teams have been meeting. So definitely a big connection there. Then another one hurts a little bit uh, the Milan Depor ties, but um, although the end result is tight, both games were rather lopsided, so uh, and started unfortunate tradition for Milan. So that might be the final was kind of so and so. So nothing to really to talk home about. I also think that Monaco Chelsea uh, in the semis not too bad. Uh, the Monaco games were definitely worth your time in that one, especially their quarterfinal against Real Madrid. 
uh, kind of in a way the last hooray of this Real Madrid team coming off a big win over Bayern. Well, that's it for today, what to watch. I'm gonna continue with that with the what to watch videos. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment, comments below on other of the auto season if there are any other games that you think would be worth watching. I would be interested to hear from you about those seasons. Uh, any memories attached to it? I was not that good with not telling results this time as the last time, but memories are coming in my mind, especially since I've been at a couple of games that we mentioned in there. Um, anyway, I hope you're doing well. Staying at home, maybe you can watch some soccer. As I said, I'm not really watching old, old games. I actually have enough to do uh, with job, this channel, the kids, and hoping for some private time with my uh, wife as well. So uh, I'm definitely not as bored and in a way I keep myself so busy that uh, I don't actually miss watching soccer at the moment that much, although it gets there where getting a little bit worried and I uh, want to see things resolved, but I think we have to wait for another probably two months. Anyway, enough of the talking. Hope you're all well and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful day. Bye.